It's Saturday the 5th of September and I've been on holiday a lot in the last couple of weeks. And so have the, <laughs> so have the weeds. Boom! Up they come, everywhere. It's been raining a lot here, so everything's a bit mushy. The weeds obviously love it. I think the damp conditions have contributed to the death of these Christmas potatoes. However, the tomatoes are doing really well. Come down here, which is one of the two reasons I'm down here. One is to feed these. These haven't had any feed yet, and they're doing crazily good. No blight. Maybe it's it's the wet weather that's helped them. They've just shot up. They're brilliant. The leeks. The leeks need a weeding. I have to thank my friend at work, David, for giving me these little leeks. Just a weed around there. It'll be fine. The carrots, the carrot netting has gone AWOL again. I think animals have been rooting around in the carrots and I think these are only going to be tiny, tiny carrots. They're not looking at their best. It was an experiment and I don't think it was a very successful one. So we'll have to rethink what to do with carrots next year, but it's all fun. It's slightly expensive. I just got caught up in the netting. <laughs> These Japanese onions, I might pull one of those actually. I lost a lot of these, a lot of these just went. I'm not sure what nibbles on onions. Let's have that. <laughs> Tiny salad onions. Well, quite cute, all the same. In good condition. Might try one of those later. The other reason I'm down here is for the beetroot. I'm pickling today. So the beetroot, oh dear. <laughs> We've got to get in between the stinging nettles. Try and pull them up. There we go. That's perfect. Brilliant. I just called my mum. Thanks mum for the tips. She said if you're going to pickle them, which is what I'm going to do, just leave about an inch, about three centimetres, of stalk. You know, give them a wash but don't peel them and then boil them and the skins will come off quite easily and because you've left the uh, stalk on it's not going to bleed so much. So that's a top tip from my mum. So I'm going to pull those up. The Pentland Javelins that Jake planted, I told him to dig them up. Look, there's that one's green but the rest of it seems okay. So well, that one's going on the compost heap because he's full of oxalic, oxalic acid. I think that's what the green is. And he's coming around tomorrow to dig these up with his mum and dad, which is great. The collies, I had my brilliant collie. The others, no, oh, let me see that one. Mostly slug food, but that's okay. I had one good one. And I've missed most of the lavender flowering while I was away and all the weed flowering around the front of the bed. Rosemary's still going strong. I've put in some Chinese cucumbers in here. I think, I think that might be one. Hard to tell. And my brave red cabbage has killed over. The success story over on this bed is the watercress, which is on that far side. That's done really well, and with all the rain that we've had, I'm not surprised. The corn! <laughs> the corn. Look at this. <laughs> That's pretty sad. This one's even sadder. Now up the top in the other allotments, people have got corn that looks pretty much like this, but they've also got some super duper corn, which looks fantastic. Down here though, the green manure has done quite well. There's weeds in between it and horse tails, nettles. So I'm not overly bothered about that bed. That's good. There's a lot of stinging nettles and I'm wearing shorts. The chilies are flowering. One of the chilies is being devoured by something. Uh, oh, oh, there we go, look. Let's get that in shot. First chili pepper. 
That's good. I just hope it's going to be sunny enough for everything else to ripen off. Oh, it's a chilly mound looks more like a, a chilly cow pat than amongst a sea of weeds. And the other success is the horseradish, which is down here around the back of the tomatoes. You can hardly make it out. Everything's green. That's doing all right. And then up the top, trampy tramp. Raspberries are trying to ripen in here. The goji bush has just been eaten. The comfrey is uh, just about coming up. It's starting to rain. I haven't got a coat. The mint's gone crazy, as mint does. And the trains are here. So, harvest beetroot, pickle beetroot. And then go and shelter from the rain. That's enough for one day, I think.